You won't believe it, but in poor Africa they're creating a real great green wall. Meanwhile, in wealthy Dubai, they still haven't started building what could be the world's tallest building. And the British company Deep has introduced its underwater city project to the world. In this video, you will learn about the largest mega projects in the world that are either planned or already created. Enjoy watching. Dubai Creek Harbour Dubai Creek Harbour is an impressive project that combines outstanding architecture and innovative ideas in the heart of the United Arab Emirates. This mega project is being developed by MR Properties. The district is being built on the banks of an artificial canal which will be the center of this unique project. Dubai Creek Harbour was to include tall skyscrapers, luxury residences and commercial facilities. At the very center of the future district, the world's tallest tower was planned to be built. The projected height was a staggering 4,400 feet, and in 2018 the first phase of construction was completed, the laying of the foundation. Several hundred piles were laid to a depth of up to 236 feet. Unfortunately, construction did not continue. One of the reasons cited for freezing such a grandiose project was the coronavirus pandemic in 2020. But as it turned out, this was not the main problem the developer faced. Financial problems began to plague more and more mega-projects. The 2008 crisis showed that it is better to build not huge skyscrapers symbolizing the success of the country, but to invest funds in more useful projects for the population. Right now, the place where Dubai Creek Tower was planned to be built looks like a desert with an abandoned construction site in the middle. Instead of the future district, there is only sand. The beauty of the project can only be seen in 3D images visualizing the future area. However, some parts of the project have been implemented. Creek Island is the name of the island with some of the most beautiful and expensive buildings. The entire Dubai Creek Harbour project was planned to construct only premium quality houses, which can be easily noticed in the already implemented part of it. It is also interesting to note the high cost of the entire project. According to some data, the amount planned to be invested exceeds $300 billion. Gotthard Base Tunnel not all countries can afford such expensive projects, although even so, some amounts are simply astonishing. For example, in Switzerland in 2016, the construction of the Gotthard Base Tunnel was completed. It is the longest railway underground tunnel in the world, connecting the cities of Erstfeld and Bodia. Its cost was $12 billion after the completion of construction. But why does the country need a 57-kilometer tunnel? The fact is that it is located in the Alps, and when you need to cross mountains, the question arises of how to do it. As early as the 19th century, the Gotthard Railway Tunnel and a highway crossing the mountain ranges were built. But even then, people realized that these routes would not be enough and that another mega-project with greater capacity would be required. The Gotthard Base Tunnel is located more than a mile deep, and the travel time it takes for a train to fully cover the distance is 17 minutes. During the works, 73 types of rock were extracted from the bowels of the earth, and their total weight exceeded 28 million tons. The main task for which this tunnel was built is functionality. The increased capacity, which allowed more than 300 trains to pass daily, increased trade between countries and also reduced travel time between cities for ordinary residents. The Gotthard Base Tunnel remains the deepest transport tunnel in the world, as well as the longest among railway tunnels. However, this is provided that metro lines are not taken into account. Thus, just recently in the Moscow subway, the Big Circle Line was opened, with a total length of 39 miles. Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge The China mega project, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, also seems inconceivable. It got its name because it connects three cities Hong Kong, Zhuhai, and Macau. The bridge represents a remarkable infrastructure project, as it includes not only typical spans but also an undersea tunnel. The scale and appearance of this project are simply astonishing. The road is impressively long, spanning a whole 34 miles. The project includes suspension bridge structures with a length of 23 miles. Special attention was paid to ensuring stability in the face of strong hurricane winds and earthquakes. The project also includes an underwater tunnel that connects Zhuhai to Hong Kong Island. Like the Swiss Tunnel, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge has an important goal. It aims to improve the economic state of regions far apart from each other. This indeed has been achieved as residents can now save a lot of travel time. Besides, the bridge allows for efficient goods delivery. The project creates an effective transport infrastructure for passengers and freight transport. It should also be noted that Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau has become a symbol of modern China. 
Recently, the country's policy has been focused on the development of construction infrastructure. An unimaginable number of new roads and houses are being built in China, and this project has become a symbol of success for the country. Jeddah Tower By the way, Saudi Arabia also wanted to build a huge skyscraper that was to be taller than the already existing Burj Khalifa in Dubai. The Jeddah Tower is a very ambitious project. It was intended to create a building of a 3,200 feet tall. Like other record high constructions, it was to symbolize modernity and innovation in architecture. However, contrary to expectations, the project became the subject of discussions and faced certain difficulties. Estimates of the construction cost of the Jeddah Tower reached multi-billion dollar sums, and expenses became one of the reasons for delays in the project's realization. The main problem lay in the uncertainty of the economic climate and financial conditions in the region. The project cost turned out to be significantly higher than initially planned and ultimately became unaffordable for clients and investors. Challenges were also encountered in engineering and construction, as building such a high structure required the application of innovative engineering solutions and technologies. Working at such enormous heights posed immense risks. Even a slight wind could easily kill a working brigade. In the end, despite government promises, the Jeddah Tower project was temporarily suspended and then definitively cancelled. Even the ambitions of the ultra-wealthy Arab sheikhs could not help complete the construction. This decision once again highlights the difficulty of realizing extremely ambitious projects, especially in changing economic situations and technical challenges. Aral Sea Basin Restoration There are also mega-projects that cause whole crowds to rejoice. For example, the restoration of the Aral Sea Basin. The project aims to fully restore the former shores of the once existing sea, create a stable ecosystem and bring life back to these areas. But how did it happen that all these parameters were violated? The process of desiccation of the Aral Sea began in the mid-20th century, due to the massive use of water from rivers feeding its basin for irrigation of agricultural lands. Essentially, the abundant use of sources feeding the sea led to its gradual disappearance. The area of the world's fourth largest internal water reservoir decreased tens of times. This led to a significant deterioration of its ecological condition. The project involves steps to restore water sources that should feed the Aral Sea. It organizes the regulation of water use for irrigation and prevents excessive water discharge from rivers. Coastal zones are being restored and efforts are made to combat the high salt content in the water. Besides, scientists are populating the water with species of fish that are resilient to adverse conditions. With such actions, it is planned to fully restore the ecological condition of the sea and then return it to its historical boundaries. There is no information on how much will be spent on the project's implementation, but it seems that the sums will be astronomical. It will be very interesting to see the result, as the Aral Sea once had a huge impact on the lives of ordinary people. Tenga Solar Station one of the largest solar power stations in the world is rightly considered to be the Tenga facility located in China. It takes its name from the Tenga Desert, where it is situated. The power station covers more than 3% of the desert's entire area. The Tenga is considered one of the largest deserts in northern China. The project aims to generate clean energy and reduce carbon emissions through the use of renewable electricity sources. This is a key component of China's strategy in the fight against climate change. The Helio Station is often called the Great Solar Wall. This nickname didn't arise out of nowhere. It's all about the power and size of the power station. At its peak, it can produce 1.5 gigawatts. Such power can be comparable to the electricity generated by nuclear power plants. The area occupied by all the station systems is 26 square miles. Moreover, there are no plans to stop at these sizes. There is still plenty of free space in the desert, allowing China to build extensive plans to increase the power of the Tenga solar power station. It's very interesting to see what scale this mega-project will reach. Great Green Wall Another green mega-project has emerged in Africa. There, a staggeringly large afforestation strip is proposed. The project is proudly named the Great Green Wall, but why is it even needed? As early as the last century, many people understood that the Sahara Desert was expanding. This problem could lead to the destruction of many climatic zones, global changes in Africa's ecology and problems with the availability of fertile zones. The prototype of the mega-project was born in the 1980s. At that time, the president of the little-known country Burkina Faso, Thomas Sankara, began to implement this idea. During his rule, 10 million trees were planted, which stopped the spread of the Sahara sands to the south. 
Thanks to Thomas' successful activities, the Great Green Wall project was born. In 2005, its creation was supported by the African Union. By 2012, 11 African states participated in the project. And just seven years later, their number increased to 21. The project involves creating forests and natural zones that will pass through 11 African countries. For the project's implementation, 37 species of local trees have been selected that can easily develop in dry climates and with low rainfall. The total length of the wall will be over 4,000 miles, and the width of the plantations will be about 9 miles. If the project is realized, it can easily be noticed from space. By 2030, it is planned to fully restore 100 million hectares of land affected by the spread of desert sands. The Great Green Wall will be able to absorb a colossal amount of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and create incredible volumes of oxygen. The Forest Belt will create more than 10 million jobs in rural areas of Africa. Deep Sentinel The next project was kept in strict secrecy for over two years. It required 70,000 hours of work by a team of engineers which included more than 100 people. And this incredible scale project is named Deep Sentinel. The mega project is truly mesmerizing with its ambitions. The company Deep in the United Kingdom wants to create a real underwater base for scientists, just like in the computer game. It will be located at a very great depth, more than 200 meters underwater. But why does anyone need an underwater base? The thing is, most marine organisms live at a depth of 650 feet. This zone is called the euphotic zone, as sunlight reaches these depths maximally. Today, the ocean is as little explored as space, although it is literally within walking distance. The Deep Sentinel project addresses this issue. The underwater base plans to house a group of scientists who can continuously observe and study deep-sea life. They can stay underwater for up to 28 days. It is believed that only 9% of all animals living in the oceans have been discovered or documented. The rest remain unknown to humanity. Overcoming this gap in knowledge will allow scientists to obtain extensive data, which can undoubtedly help in various fields of science. Especially, scientists hope to find new chemical compounds that can help fight diseases. Moreover, this mega-project will also aid in space exploration. The technology can be used to study the oceans of other planets. For example, on Jupiter's moon Europa, there may be a huge ocean under the ice, which can also be explored using Deep Sentinel's underwater bases. Where the first city of scientists will be located is not reported, just like the cost of the project. The company is still negotiating with international partners to achieve proper funding. We can only wait and hope that this Deep Sentinel project finds approval in the global community and can come to light. These were the most ambitious mega projects in the world. Thank you for watching.